always interested in the expressions on the players' faces. I don't know, Michael, you experienced this. What are those moments like in the anthem just before this starts? Yeah, you just try to settle yourself and ready to go and keep your concentration. And, you know, you want to get the start and get on with it. You're waiting all day. Column lines of Cork is the referee, Tony Kelly. Into it straight away to Shane O'Donnell. Brilliant bit of control. He's been very tightly marked. Mikey Butler is there with him for Kilkenny. But Clare going long, going direct early on. There is David Fitzgerald. And now Dermot Ryan. Seven points he's got in this year's championship, but that one is wide. Remember all the wides Clare hit last year, 23 of them. That's not a brilliant start. No, and he's look, he's having a brilliant year. He's scoring points at will, but he is, has a tendency to hit a few wides as well. That was a good chance. He took the right option. Poor ball out by Owen Murphy. Paddy Deegan of O'Loughlin Gales. Shorter ball out. Mikey Butler. Another O'Loughlin's man. Adrian Mullen is back fit again. This is Cody, the Kilkenny captain, and he's been fouled. It's Rory Hayes picking him up. And... Uh, <laughs> I think Cody enjoying that more than Rory Hayes is. Oh, now, that wasn't very clever. There was some afters there. And column, line, column line's right on top of that. Still a free in for Kenny. Yeah, I thought he might throw it in there. You know, normally when you get that reaction, brilliant ball by Adrian Mullen. You see what he's worked in the team, Mikey Butler, and he just hit that ball so hard for the team, right into, into the angle in front of Cody. He's having a fantastic year. Um, so is Rory Hayes, but on maybe a different type of player, going Cody on fire all year for Kilkenny. So TJ Reid has hit 37 frees in the championship up to this moment. And that is number 38, successfully converted, and Kilkenny lead in the second minute. Yeah, and there I suppose Tony Kelly has started in the middle of the field, but just know Mikey Butler gone to the middle of the field. Now that's a corner back, gone midfield. Paddy Deegan dropped back, and, and David Blanchard looks to be a loose man there. So that is Shane Amori wearing number 25. Paul oh, Malone from Six Mile Bridge sending the ball back, and it's fired up to O'Donnell, and there's three Kilkenny men close to him. It's asking an awful lot of one of last year's All-Stars, Paddy Deegan. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Look where Owen Cody is now. Bally Hale man, and Cody lets that fly. Open the shoulders, it's going to drop short. Quilligan is under it. Nice, steady goalkeeping, that'll do his confidence the world of good and great distribution too. David Fitzgerald, first instinct is to run at Kilkenny. Ryan Taylor, really good block down. Adrian Mullen got right out on top of him. Ball squirts out the back, Tony Kelly can't pick it up. Ryan Taylor is there with him, what a year he's had. We're right behind that and it's absolutely gorgeous from Ryan Taylor. He was an injury out coming into the match. Eighth point of the championship, one each after three. Yeah, that's a lovely score. He's having a fantastic year, as you say, Dara. Uh, the first ball he had here, he had Dermot Ryan on the overlap, was blocked down by Adrian Mullen, but won the break back and took it over. Extremely tactical. You see Shane Amore down here now, right in front of uh, the full back yeah. line, and that's going to lead to Kenny. So, obviously, Clare have made the decision to keep it tight early on and not, like, not happen what happened last year for the very first time. Two is Adam Hogan, four is Rory Hayes. And that is a Kilkenny ball. Oh, and Cody's kind of taken the whole thing to a different level this year under Derek Link, first year in charge. Thomas Town's John Donnelly. With the sideline cut, that's not a particularly good one. And uh, Shane Amori is the extra man back there. Out come the banner, John Conlon. Familiar sight of that bandage on his left arm. Shane O'Donnell looking to try and win his own ball, but he's won a free out of that. Richie Reid was sweeping up behind, and O'Donnell kind of taking one for the team there. Yeah, that's silly by Tommy Walsh. The extra man is there covering. That's you don't want that when you have an extra man. All you do is stay with your man, shadow him out. He did that bit, but he put the arm in around. You saw Richie Reid back there. Uh, picking up the loose ball, it's going to be very hard. I love the idea of Shannon Donald being in there, but yeah. the extra men are back there. But he's still very dangerous with his movement. Good ball in by Conlon, and the free is won. Mark Rogers, interestingly, on the freeze as we expected, um, with Aiden and McCarthy out, and uh, I think Tony Kelly not that comfortable taking freeze. So Mark Rogers, big day for him here taking freeze in Croke Park for the first time. Clare haven't played that many matches in Croke Park since the one they got on in 2013, and what about that? That is not the start. Mark Rogers would have wanted as the free taker. That was a straightforward one. 
It is, but of all pitches, the wind swirls here in Crow Park. It changes. It, it takes it takes a while to get used to it, and um, look, he will settle into it. But that was a poor miss. So Shane Amory is under that, but there's plenty of company there. Ball loose. Tom Feeling, brilliant block down. Could Kenny still have it though? Owen Cody. And Cody didn't catch that particularly cleanly, but it's effective and it's a point for Kilkenny. They lead by two to one. And the puck out's taken a really great block down initially there by Dermot Ryan, but uh, Owen Cody just as they on fire. And there's TJ Dunn wins it back. 35 years young. Now, drop short. The flags were. We, we know, we spoke about it a lot at the football last weekend. And they seem to be favouring Kilkenny, but the flags on either side of the pitch are moving in different directions, such as the effect of that horseshoe. Shane O'Donnell, again, just one up there. Sweeper back, that's brilliant. Absolutely outstanding from Peter Duggan. Duggan for Clare, and Duggan has put the ball between the posts. Well, he had so much to do here. Yeah, and Shane O'Donnell there moved out the field this time and spotted the one-on-one -on -one in there. Duggan has that huge height advantage there. Uh, the isolated him against Tommy Walsh. Great score by Duggan. The Kilkenny reply. They're just two in the inside forward line. Rory Hayes and Owen Cody. He's pulling the jersey almost off his back. Free in. But Cody took it quickly. The ref is not allowed yeah, it. No. But this is what he brings. He's so strong and uh, again, Richie Reid, beautiful supply of ball, sees the one-on-one -on -one again. Rory Hayes, did, Hayes didn't do a lot wrong there, but just the power of Cody and the ability to keep the ball at his feet uh, wins the free again. So Kenny haven't played in a month, it's allowed them get key players back fit again. Didn't exactly bother Limerick, a bit of a layoff last night. I was just watching the clear forwards, they are trying to move around and, and set up different one-on-ones. Tony Kelly in a full forward now, Sheldon O'Donnell gone out to the middle of the field and David Blanchard and Tony Kelly in around corner forward here, but Mikey Butler following him everywhere so. And TJ Reid converts from the place ball. So, a lot for both managers to consider. Neighbour Quilligan is looking for some movement, Shane O'Donnell has come out to the middle of the field that's gone over his head, it goes long very long, Duggan got a stick on that, Shane O'Donnell somehow managed to get his hand on the ball Tony Kelly claustrophobic in there Kelly turns back around hops the ball off the ground, he's got some space he looks up for this, really up for it referee's playing an advantage it's David McInerney and McInerney shoots from out the field and that's his fifth point of the championship. They could have gone back for the free. Kelly was awesome here. Yeah, brilliant play by Tony Kelly, and that's what he needs to do more. He saw the loose man. The ball is out again. There's no let up here, but uh, a lovely score by David McInerney. And uh, I think Clare will really be happy the way they've settled into this game and uh, kept it tight at the back. Dermot Ryan's clearance. Three each, level three times. Paddy Deegan. It's not a bad ball, Tom Phelan. Phelan lets that one fly. That's a really good effort from Tom Phelan. Ninth point of the championship. Yeah, and this guy's been really impressive. You know, he's a no-nonsense sort of hurler. Real Kilkenny type hurler, strong the air, rangy, fast. And Paddy Deegan again with a lovely ball to pick him out. Back in play, that's for Shane O'Donnell. Lovely bit of control from Shane O'Donnell. He's lost one defender, he's impossible to mark. He looks to be really on fall. They're giving him the ball in very difficult situations. That was a bit easier. Yeah, it was brilliantly worked, uh, Ever Quilligan. But look at the finish, they did an awful lot to do. He's brilliant in the air for quite a small man. His first touch is brilliant. Gathered it up and cut back inside. Super score. Seems to be trying to run off a, a bit of a knock, Shane O'Donnell. Crazy to think that last year was his first ever All-Star. John Conlon. Possession with Kilkenny. Adrian Mullen, easy to pick out with the red helmet. That's in towards Cody, and it's a free out. It's a foul against Owen Cody. He's not impressed. Rory Hayes lost the stick in there. Yeah, have a look at it again. You see him holding the jersey. Good call. Give a little pull of it. And uh, very well spotted there by Colin Lenz. He's brought it out. And <laughs> <Yeah, it> did it. <laughs> yeah. 
It's very easy to understand that one, yeah, anyway. exactly, yeah. Button it. <laughs> no explanation needed. <laughs> John Conlon. Mark Rogers. Can't hang on. Paddy Deegan. Hoover's up just behind, gets rid of it quickly. Shorter stuff out, but a little careless from Kilkenny, and the ball is turned over. Dearman Ryan for Clare. Back at you. That's David Blanchfield, and he's been fouled. Kilkenny wanted to play on. Blanchfield's had a massive year as well for Kilkenny. Yeah, I came on last. I thought he'd every see there, just held up, and there's a good tack, tackle coming. Connor clearly a long way from the goals. Um, so they're trusting Shane and Murray to sit back there to go on man for man everywhere else, and... Uh, that's obviously the plan, uh, but uh, Blanchard, yeah, a huge addition to Kilkenny um, over the last 12 months or so. Big, strong man, great in the air. So this one right on halfway. Kept it a bit lower, right over the black spot. It's a beautiful strike of the ball from TJ Reid. And you can't underestimate that at top level hurling. You know, it's, it's 9 out of 10 at least with TJ every day of the weekend. Uh, it makes it look so easy. So a slower restart, short restart for Clare. Shane Amori. Cottle Malone. Malone closed down, good pressure by the Kilkenny forwards. And this looks absolutely superb. Well, that's a big turnover, big pressure, and a huge score for Adrian Mullen. They're thrilled to have him back. Well, that's unbelievable. Um, brilliant block down, but just ponderous there. You said that, a bit of a slower puck out and clear need to put pace on the ball they're trying to pick out Murray but it was a little triangle of passes there and Muller moved in and blocked down Cahill Malone and over the bar they've done it again but now there's forward momentum from Adam Hogan Duggan is chasing this down Hugh Lawler there this is good pressure by the clear forward yeah. that was unorthodox let's say but it's gone out for a 65 yeah it was great work we saw the pace of Hugh Lawler initially there got back but good work there by Peter Duggan Forced the, forced the ball to be um, given away there by Hugh Lawler out over the line for 65. There's a lot in that replay, isn't there? So now, uh, this is... a big few seconds for Mark Rogers from the 65. His earlier effort was inside the 45. So the flags down underneath this Hogan stand side are not hardly moving at all. The ones on the other side, you can see the one on the 45, is blowing a fair bit. From Scarif. <laughs> Mark Rogers, he likes that. Well yeah. done, young man. That yeah. would have taken a lot of courage. For sure, Dara, that's excellent. He looked a bit nervous early on, you expect that. Um, he got a ball very fumbled out of his hand, but that's going to really help his confidence now. It's Owen Murphy not hanging around. Quick restart, Donnelly put his hand up there, breaks to Colm alone for Clare. Now David Fitzgerald, TJ Reid, look at that, he's out. Stopping his progress. They're kind of stuck in the same spot, Clare. John Conlon, they've plenty of space far side. Shane Amori has made a run to the left of Mark Rogers and here he is the sweeper back there sitting in front of the full back line Shane Amori from a left half forward position aye 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 that's uh, the intention was good three wides yeah you can't even do what to do tackling really hard but that was an easy chance for Shane Amori got up the field and uh, long way back down to his sweeper position now a little bit more room inside oh what a fantastic catch Billy Ryan oh absolutely wonderful that was from a long ball from David Blanchfield stunning 7-5. Yeah. This what separates Kilkenny, I think, from most other teams, their ability in the air. Billy Ryan's first touch, brilliant catch, and as I mentioned, Shannon Murray had gone up the field, he wasn't back there to cover, a little bit more room there, and easy score in the end. And actually the awareness from Blanchfield to know that Rogers was the extra man and just launch it long. Here come Clare, Ryan Taylor. Peter Duggan. Dermot Ryan from Cracklow. The tackling of Adrian Mullen so far is unbelievable. Yeah. He's after turning over uh, have no stats here in front of you. I'd say four balls. Uh, he's had a couple of blockdowns, just unbelievable. And there's Paddy Deegan coming in here as well. Jeremy Ryan had the opportunity, thought, for a score, but great blockdown by Paddy Deegan. So 
Rogers has scored one sideline in the championship. Tony Kelly has his shadow behind him, Mikey Butler, as he made a, a move forward, not a good cut. Easy for the Kilkenny defence and Connor Fogarty. Hugh Lawler, all-star last year as well, and loves these kind of positions, and that's Messi from Cahill Malone, shot on its way from Lawler. That is a point, absolutely fantastic from Hugh Lawler. He's at it now. Yeah, well, he is some full back. He has outrageous pace. Uh, you see there, no holding back. He kept going. Uh, he had a free shot. He knew it was going to be a free, but that's a brilliant score. So Shane O'Donnell, plus one defender back there as well. Tommy Walsh, real tight. They've got the ball now. Richie Reid. And Reid launches that long, but he didn't look. And that is unlike him. Shane Amori, easy possession for him. That's through the first challenge, Connor Cleary. We were in Ennis those, all those weeks ago, back in May, when he popped his shoulder. He was in agony that day. He's done great to get back in the All-Ireland semi-final. Adrian Mullen, Paddy Deegan. Mullen lets it go long. They work it up to the middle and then launch it, and it's come back out to Billy Ryan. Possibilities for Kilkenny here. Ryan, they could be in. TJ Reid, goal chance perhaps. Reid! Oh, what a save. stop! That's a stunning stop from Ava Quilligan. He didn't just stop it, he put it out of play, put the ball dead. Well, that was brilliant play. Billy Ryan, you know, unselfish. Again, Connor Cleary out of the game for a while, knocked it down to Billy Ryan. But look at his vision here to pick out TJ. Switched hands, lovely dummy by TJ. Normally, that's a goal. That is an unbelievable save. Um, it just shows, again, Kenny's so dangerous in the air, but Connor Cleary should have dealt with that better. What a save. That's brilliant. It's not could have gone anywhere, never mind in the back of the net. So Reid will have a go, TJ from the 65. Kilkenny building this lead now, you know, yeah. that ball inside. You saw Hugh, Tommy Walsh that time, he just stayed with him. The last time he fouled Shane O'Donnell, no need this time, Richie Reid there. And Kilkenny playing that a little bit better than Clare so far with the extra man at the back. The big difference there is the striking of the Kilkenny guys. Richie Reid, yeah. Paddy Deegan, David Blanchard, they can strike the ball 90, 100 yards. Clare working the ball out through the hand and that's the difference. And Kilkenny have scored five out of the last six points three without reply That's that some is some stop, say, unbelievable it? he was already in the all-star picture but that's it one that the selectors will remember tommy walsh got his hand on that here's tony kelly in around the back kelly will take the point and does and he's got one from play yeah and he loved that but then look at the flick here from shane o'donnell off the ground, just watch it here. Look at the scoop up into his hand. That's an unbelievable piece of skill in that tight of space. And Kelly pops it over. Another day he might have went for a goal. I think he's just happy yeah. to get a point in a game in 17 minutes against Clare since he or against Kenny since he scored a point from play. Yeah, just buried that memory of last year, but they still have some muscle memory of what happened, and that is Dermot Ryan. Oh, what a catch by Owen Murphy. That was incredible. Wasn't really on though, Darren Ryan, you know, he's had a wide, he had another shot blocked down, and he went for that one again. Tommy Walsh. Oh, that's a great bit of defending. John Connor. Well done, Rory Hayes. So, now Tony Kelly and Butler was there with him, and Kelly's been penalised for fouling the Kilkenny man, and he's not at all happy. This is going to be moved forward. He did very little wrong there. He just told Mikey Butler fell, and he is absolutely incensed. Um, brilliant catch. You know, that takes the momentum away. You know, Claire had just got a score. TJ's going back to this one now. I don't think that was the right call. 19th minute. So, TJ Reid is uh, closer to his own 45-metre line than the 65. Look at that. So Reid on its way, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, just as accurate though from TJ Reid. You can put however many yards you want on that, but that is a brilliant strike of the ball, 10-6. Yeah, and you mentioned the breeze, it definitely is fair for Kilkenny now, I think it's picked up in the last couple of minutes, and, and that was really at the, at the outside of, 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 of TJ's range. And he's equaled the top scorer in the championship of all time with that free. And David Fitzgerald has just scored for Clare. 
That's a good reply. Yeah, that's a great reply. This man has been on fire during the championship. Derry, take that up. Hasn't been in the game so far. He's at centre half forward there now, being picked up by Blanchfield, and uh, again that'll do him the world again. It's normally a good sign for Clare when David Fitzgerald starts scoring points. So the referee has blown the whistle here. He hasn't signalled which way it's going. Well, well, not the, sure about that. The line's been signalled that it's a Kilkenny ball. Uh, get, uh, definitely out of home, Cody, and uh, it's been changed. Yeah. Yeah. Half a clear of the crowd, Brian yeah. Lowen, everyone encouraging there, so right decision at the end. I think Mossy Keown knew that uh, he yeah. needed to try and stop it going out. In a big few minutes, it's, it's very, very hard work on the five forwards on these matches. I, I have a lot, as a pass forward myself, I have a lot of sympathy for the forwards. They're playing against seven backs, it's really hard physically. And, uh, you know, Kilkenny just see one or two of them maybe just lagging a little bit there in the last minute. But here they go, I haven't said that. Absolutely, Tom Feeler. A little bit isolated, feeling taken down by Shane Amori. That's a free in for sure. It's probably a black card, is it? Black card with penalty. See? It's a yellow. Oh, it's a yellow. For Shane Amori. I don't know what this rule. If he goes past him there, is he straight in and goal? Yeah. They've shot that pass. Yeah, I love those covering players there, so in fairness to the referee. I'm sure that's what that rule has brought in for us, to stop that cynical play. So this is uh, potentially an historic moment for TJ Reid. I'm sure maybe he didn't have an awareness that he was going to do this today. Maybe he did. But this free to make it 11-7 in the 22nd minute of the second All-Ireland semi-final makes TJ Reid the all-time hurling championship top scorer. Some achievements. Patrick Horgan, I don't think there's any intention of hanging up the boots so this competition could be yeah, on for a exactly. while yet. Yeah. Shane Amori, Cahill Malone, John Conlon missed last year's game and he was such a huge miss for Clare. Malone again. Shane O'Donnell, look at the work rate of those Kilkenny defenders, but they got to get tight. Peter Duggan, they've got in Shane O'Donnell, he's got a free player to his left. They're in, Rogers! Unbelievable block. Wow. Conor Fogarty. But Claire did everything right, apart from... It was unbelievable hands in tight space. Shane O'Donnell, as he does, look, but he slipped, but he still threw the hand pass. And oh. what a block by Conor Fogarty coming across. That's an unbelievable uh, piece of skill, apart from everything else. But the work rate of this man over the years, look at this for a block. That's incredible. Outstanding. We've had everything in this game. We've some of the skill and some of the scores, a few mistakes here and there, but the work rate of both teams and the attitude. But that was clear. That's what they do. They, that running game, opening them up, takes great skill, great, great dexterity in the pass. And we saw a triangle of passes there, opened it up, but that's a brilliant save. The referee was playing an advantage, so Rogers converts the free. It's been a roller coaster already. We've only been playing for just over 23 minutes. Yeah, the big difference is the discipline so far. Kenny have scored five frees. That's Mark Rogers' first to score. That's the difference between the teams. Owen Murphy, ball back in play. Great catch by John Donnelly. He's so good in the air. He was almost falling there. There and there's look at Mikey Butler now. The young hurler of the year from last year has scored one two in this year's championship, and he's got his team a free. You know, the change in hurling over the last number of years, we can talk about the, the skill level, the, the fitness, everything, but look, that shows you the evolution. Last, la in the last day, he scored a brilliant goal. There he is up the field again. And he's marking Tony Kelly doing a man-marking job, but he yeah. still has the confidence to head up into the 21-yard line like that. Outstanding. So for that challenge, Ryan Taylor has been booked. And it's TJ time again. We've seen two outstanding saves, one either in the yes. field. Um, you know, goal is, is huge. You see TJ Reid trying to drive on to the Kenny lads. He realises that this few minutes, ten minutes before half time, will be huge. Yeah. That's for Peter Duggan. Right hand went up in the air. Tony Kelly, three for Kenny men around him. Mikey Butler, 
his principal marker, but he did have support and help. And Richie Reid, who's kind of the sweeper back there, launches it long. Now, Owen Cody turns back around. Cody. Now, that could be... Well, it's a Hawkeye moment. You thought that was over, didn't you? I did at the start, but I thought yeah. it might have drifted a bit, so I, I, if I was down there with the umpire, I'd be calling for Hawkeye as well. Yeah. Just some piece of skill again, work great again to get out and win that ball. So here's the verdict. Yeah, yeah. well inside. Look, they're right to use the technology. 100%. That is amazing that score is again. Some score. For yeah. strength, for power, for balancing. Um, and then to, to have the ability to shoot it over from there as well, brilliant score. Shane O'Donnell couldn't control it, Tom Phelan changes the angle of the attack. Billy Ryan can't get to that, David McInerney back for Clare. Shane Amori, it's the other side of being the sweeper, he can attack when he wants. And this is a huge effort from miles out, and it's converted by Cole Malone. Yeah, and Shane Amori much better there, much slicker hand pass straight to the hand. That's a great score by uh, Conor Cahill Malone, another huge athlete, and himself and Adrian Mullen having a great battle so far. Tommy Walsh under pressure, Hugh Lawler. A lot of hard work for both teams in the uh, turnover battle. 27th minute, that's out of play. It'll be clear possession. The one and only time that Clare have beaten Kilkenny in the championship. Cotter Malone. And Quilligan knew as Malone turned back towards him that he needed to become an option, and he was. Tony Kelly almost caught it. That's brilliant. It's such it's a phone box type space, phone box type space, and he's got a foul too. Connor Fogarty. Mikey Butler is thick and tight, and Tony Kelly wins a great ball there. I'm not sure about those ones, you know, you yeah, drop okay. the head and you're going. Conor Fogley stand his ground there, uh, as far as I can What's he supposed to do? Move out of the way. Um, look, the ref is on the spot there. He's closer to it and he calls the free. So Tony Kelly's going to take this free himself, and he's more than capable. Peter Duggan has been marked by Hugh Lawler in in front of Owen Murphy, the Kilkenny goalkeeper. On its way from Tony Kelly, he's kept it a little lower, wide though. They've hit four of those, <clears throat> not a single wide for Kilkenny. If I remember, Kilkenny only hit one wide in something like 50 minutes of the game last year. It was one of those days where it went so wrong for Clare and so right for Kilkenny. Heading towards half time, Rory Hayes. Advantage been played, Dermot Ryan. Nice from Cahill Malone. So shorter stuff from Clare. Now they can get a bit longer. Peter Duggan is in close. Dermot Ryan takes this on, but that one's wide. Dermot, just one of those days from so far. That was a brilliant piece of play. Started by Adam Hogan over here. An under-20 player. What a year he's having as well. Sticking to his guns there with Billy Ryan so far. Mossy Kion, a little bit of an injury doubt as well coming in here. Kion just lets that one slip. So that's their first one. Yeah, and he's been quiet. He was injured uh, the last time went off early in the game. It wouldn't be spicy Walter Walsh coming on soon there. Cahill Malone. Well, the atmosphere's gone into a little bit of a low. Now at the lift, Shane O'Donnell normally does that whenever he's around the ball. So, we've got a stoppage for... It was Ryan Taylor, is it? Yeah, yeah. Not oh, for a minute, it was a concussion thing, but it's his right knee. The helmet came off there, so I'd say the referee stopped the game yeah. straight away. I don't, I don't think it's a free. Um, just watch it here. Just 
Yeah, he just oh, got a, ouch. Yeah. Got a focus, he was accidental, but got a great crack in the knee there. He had the crowd gone a little bit quiet, yeah, as you no. say, the, yeah. the whole hit, the atmosphere has, has, has gone out with there's John Kiley and JP. Yeah. So just while we have a, a break and play, I wanted to say hello to Sean Hartigan from Scarif in Clare. He's recovering from illness at the moment. We know he's uh, watching today. Just be interesting to see now, you know. Obviously, Claire have made a tactical decision to go with Shane Amore to play the way they're playing. It. Yeah. Can he still, you know, managing to eke out this lead? Or do they um, ditch it? Yeah. Well, at some stage, you, you know, you're going to have to say, if we stay yeah. four, five, six points down, we're going to have to change it up. And then when you do, that's what Kenny like to see. And they'll be, they'll be throwing in Walter Walsh, um, maybe Richie Hogan, Billy Drennan, Keen, Mark, Keen, Kenny, people like that that can really hurt you. So it'll be interesting. This man looks to be in trouble. No, he's okay. No, he's all right. Okay. Yeah. It looked painful, but thankfully Ryan Taylor is OK, and we're back on again. It's a great bit of skill from John Donnelly down on his knees. Adrian Mullen from Ballyhale. Mikey Butler attacking again. Paddy Deegan has just ran past him. Now he's under pressure, and the ball turned over. Call Malone. Again, just look at that Kilkenny work rate. Everybody moving towards the player with the ball. Tony Kelly ain't going to score from out there. It's too high for Shane O'Donnell. And Kilkenny looking all right at the back, but that's brilliant from Adam Hogan, and he was unfortunate. Kilkenny have got the ball back. John Conlon is underneath that. Ossie Cone there as well. Conlon knew instinctively where the danger was and how to deal with it. It's going one way. Then the other, Rogers to David Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald was crunched as he let go of that. Hugh Lawler just shepherds it back to Owen Murphy. Lawler and Peter Duggan are down. I think Lawler might be hurt. Kilkenny play on. Tony Kelly playing like a centre-back at the moment. TJ Reid, outrageous bit of skill. And then three of them try and take the ball off it. Reid is under pressure. The referee was playing an advantage. Free in Kilkenny. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Um, what a passage of play. I know there was plenty of mistakes there, yeah. but there was some great hooking and blocking and tackling. But watch TJ Reid here. This. Just pushes Conor Cleary out of the way. <laughs> just pure power. And uh, goes for the gap there, and he's held up. Pulled back, and it's a free in. Couldn't quite get out the gap. Number 14 scores points, number 14 for Kilkenny. So Ryan Taylor has gone off. And here's David Reedy. Big moment when he came back against Dublin. Yeah, David Reedy, a very tidy player, well able to pick off a few scores, but Ryan Taylor brings huge taste and vision to that midfield area. He's a big loss. So Quilligan. Finds John Conlon. Connor Cleary. Now Cleary goes long. Mark Rogers in underneath it, just couldn't hold on. Again, so Kenny have got the extra defender back there, but Rogers somehow got the ball. Wonderful block down. Tommy Walsh able to pick up the loose ball. David Blanchfield. Spots where Mikey Butler is, and he's got away from Tony Kelly. This is brilliant from Mikey Butler. Kelly going with him. Butler's got through here. Well, he deserved better. But it's that moment again where, uh, well, the hunter, you know, that he turned it the yeah. other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. He's a brilliant ball by Blanchfield, too. But... Shane O'Donnell just let it run through. Blanchfield was there with him. No messing around with David Blanchfield. Mikey Butler's first touch there, and he's tapped it off the ground on the way through. Unbelievable skill. The striker let him down. So David Fitzgerald. That's a brilliant shot there, just taking so much care. Will it be worth it? Well, uh, maybe not. They might still get something out of this. Reedy was in after it, down on the ground, Shane O'Donnell. Just manages to protect the ball, and there's uh, 
TJ Reid for his next trick while he's fouled by Peter Duggan. How great is play. You really can't call it shot in, you know. He wasn't fouled anyway for a start. He slipped yeah. and um, fair to Peter Duggan. Not happy with that and you can't blame him. That wasn't a free out, but look where TJ Reid is. Uh, as well, 35, is he now? The work rate, the, that desire to win, and to win every ball is huge still. So at a time at the end of the first half, Clare haven't scored since the 26th minute. It's TJ's 142nd game for Kilkenny today. And you would think there are many more. Owen Murphy with the free. Two additional minutes. Owen Cody past the first defender. Hayes is with him. He's lost the stick, though. Owen Cody. Cody for Kilkenny. Scores. Yeah, they're having a huge battle there, but Owen Cody is on top. Even though Rory Hayes has made a couple of very good interceptions, uh, Cody has scored three from play. He's almost remarkable. The power, the pace he has, the striking ability off left or right. You saw him with Tariq Mannion, the last two, was one of the top defenders in the game. You know, had a, a massive influence that day as well in the Leinster final, and he's doing the same today. A six-point lead for the Leinster champions. Shane O'Donnell, referee playing an advantage. David Fitzgerald, they need something before half-time just to give them a lift. Wonderful block down. That was Richie Reid. They'll take the 65, though, Claire. I think he's coming back for the free. Okay. That was just a brilliant catch by Shane O'Donnell. Look at this. David Blanchfield is probably getting six inches taller than him, at least. He just goes up. He's brilliant timing in the air. He's fouled straight away, but... His, his ability to get back up and see the pass, exactly, yeah. just, his vision is incredible. And Dave Fitzgerald again, a great block down. We've seen a lot of blocking and hooking from Kilkenny. So Mark Rogers standing over the free. Yeah, O'Donnell, when, when he takes that kind of punishment and he's hit, he regains his composure, retains it, and is able to use the ball well nearly all of the time. Rogers for Clare, and they get what should be the last score before half time, but they're first in over 10 minutes. Yeah, we mentioned again, seven frees for TJ Reid, two for Mark Rogers. Uh, you know, or Claire fouling a lot more at the back, and that's the difference in the game so far. Huge puck out from Owen Murphy. Remember, the wind is helping him. Oh, wow, Connor Cleary. There's the whistle for the end of the first half. We wonder, will Claire persist with Shane Mori in that extra defensive role on for Shane Mori? So, Claire. Well, going to have to have a go. Now we are underway. That was Cahill Malone, Peter Duggan now. David McInerney. They scored just one point in the last 11 minutes of the first half, did Clare. Need a big start to the second half. And they could get it right now. And they do from Mark Rogers. Absolutely perfect after 19 seconds. Yeah, Clare have gone now more orthodox, uh, six forwards taken off to sweep for a good start, good ball by Peter Duggan um, into space, one-on-one, uh, -on -one and Mark Rogers with a smart finish. And four points is nothing. The wind should help them, but as always, it's swirling around here. Here's Tony Kelly, he's lost Mikey Butler for now. Peter Duggan, Duggan shoots from 65, it's a shoot on side policy, and, well, all right. Six wides in total to Kilkenny's two, first of the second half. Yeah, and I see that um, Adam Hogan has switched on to Owen Cody for the second half. The lads talked at half-time about the battle. Cody came out with three from play, even though Hayes did well, so it'll be interesting to see how Hogan goes on. He wins the first one there. John Conlon. So, Conlon fires it across towards Mark Rogers, and he's got it too, Rogers. And he's got help, David Fitzgerald. The Clare fans on Hill 16 love that, and those in the Cusick stand right behind it. And that is just the start that Brian Lowen and Clare wanted. They're just three down. And that's a brilliant score. Mark Rogers again winning the first time ball. Um, Clare seem to be energised now with the six forwards up front. Great roar from the crowd there, but David Fitzgerald has been their go to man all year. And that's a great score. Lofted it over there from the right wing. Cahill Malone hit hard and fair by John Donnelly. It's been all clear. Look at Shane O'Donnell. How many times over the years have we seen him do that? Burst onto the scene ten years ago. O'Donnell for clear. Murphy stops it. Galvin is in after it. It's scrambled away. Out for a 65 by Hugh Lawler. 
Yeah, another brilliant set. How many steps did Sean O'Donnell take there? Um, I think it's a bit of an issue in the game. Just brilliant skill for him, but he takes in his hand at least 10 before he hit the ball. Brilliant save by Owen Murphy. And the follow-up, the two clear lads got in each other's way. But this, the bravery of O'Donnell to get in there to win that ball. And there was one, I think Mark Rogers was waiting to pull it in, and Ian Galvin came in across it. And the Clare supporters now have found their voices again. What a start to the second half by them. And, you know, Brian Lowe will be hailed as a tactical genius if, they, if this works. already got one from Clay in the second half. Mark Rogers. This is pretty much down the middle. Loves it. Three without reply. And look at that scoreline now. Yeah, and uh, Kilkenny just struggling tactically since half time to get to grips with that. Uh, Claire came out, went orthodox, and uh, the Kilkenny backs. Um, at sixes and seven, I see Paddy Deegan's in a cornerback, Tommy Walsh full back because Mikey Butler's gone out the field and Hugh Lawler's in the cornerback position. They must have expected that Clare would get rid of the sweeper. That was David McInerney down on the ground. John Donnelly there for Kilkenny. Tony Kelly trying to dig it out. John Conlon trying to kick it out. McInerney again, and he's got it too. Carl Malone. Ian Galvin sprinting after this. Hugh Lawler there with him. Kilkenny. Weight and numbers, they figured it out. Richie Reed, Daisy Cutter along the ground. Tom Phelan. Phelan has help. Owen Cody, three in the first half. Hops the ball off the ground. Claire can't get near him. What, what a, a stop from Quinnigan. Owen Cody, that was brilliant. The referee is playing an advantage. He's going to give a free in to Kilkenny. And John Collins after getting hit very hard there. But he was just clearing that ball. The referee had, had given the free in. What a passage to play. Oh, Cody did brilliant. There's a little bit of stuff going on there off the ball. The temperature certainly rising. The referee had the notebook out straight away, even before that flash point. So yeah. Owen Cody. He's down. I think it was yeah. I, th I think it was a little bit of a swipe across Owen Cody when he beat his man. He's called it back for that. TJ Reid has been brought in now for a word as well. So we are going to get a free in. Yeah, here's Adam Hogan. Just watch it here now. Watch yeah. the stroke there. That's for the car. That's an unbelievable save by Quilligan again. Um, just just watch the swipe here across. That's that's what the car has been given for. Oh. Um, but what a save. But just watch John Conlon then when he clears the ball. Uh, TJ Reid follows through. And uh, the referee didn't spot that. Uh, but Conlon's still down injured. And uh, big concern now. Obviously um, went off in a lot of distress. Adam Hogan actually got the yellow, not John Conlon. Yeah. Uh, number two, Conlon's on the ground. And this now is a big concern for Clare. Yeah. Because concussion was the issue the last day against Dublin. Did you notice, by the way, when Conlon was down on the ground, this is it here. It He's held onto the ball ever since this moment with Tom Phelan. Ouch. Yeah, but it wasn't dirty, to be fair. It was a, you know, Conlon turned in. The crowd seemed to think it is, but... But TJ Reid was the one, I think, who <laughs> the Clare players went after. There's a case of mistaken identity there, but a fair hit from Tom, from Tom Feeling, and uh, good to see John Conlon back in his feet. So, TJ won't be put off by the reaction of the crowd. First point of the second half for the Leinster champions. So, John Conlon is okay, and already looking for the ball from the puck out. Quilligan goes way out the field towards Shane O'Donnell. Ian Galvin just got the stick in. Tony Kelly, all very intricate. Ian Galvin for Clare. He's brought something special to this forward line since coming in. He's looked really alive. Yeah, it's a lovely piece of play, lovely ball by Tony Kelly. Ian Galvin, one of those players, he's brilliant on his feet. Once he gets the cut back inside in that left-hand side, very accurate as well. And a great start to the second half by Clare. Next score now will be interesting. If they can get to within one, particularly Clare, that ran away from Rory Hayes. Adrian Mullen from 45. Yeah, point. 
The umpire had a... Well, he considered it, and then had no doubt, 17-14. David McInerney. Tommy Walsh. They have this powerhouse of a bench, Kilkenny, with Killian Buckley there, Walter Walsh, Richie Hogan, Billy Drennan. A host of stars now. That is Billy Ryan who's down in a heap, and there's an edge creeping into this. Yeah, and you'd expect it there. It's an all semi final, you're out if you lose today. I'm not, I'm not saying that any dirt, I'm not um, advocating for dirty no, players no, or anything like that. Yeah, but, yeah. but look, you're expecting Peter Duggan to come out here and nail Billy Ryan. He's going up along the line. Can do a lot wrong to me. He's shouldered him out over the line. Um, I don't understand why that's a free. Brian Lohan doesn't understand it. Brian is in chatting to he's Colin Lyons. Yeah, Colin Lyons has got, uh, had a word with the linesman. He's going to take his name. He thought, obviously, it was high. But that has to be on the advice of the linesman, because yeah. the referee looked for it off. No, he's not, he's not given no. the card now. He's thought about it. So Billy Ryan's OK. These things are going on for too long, you know, they need to be dealt with quicker than that. Yeah. You know, we're here to watch a game of hurling, not to have this squadron going on the line. That's two incidents now we've had that have taken far too long to deal with. So Walter Walsh is coming in for Mossy Keown. So that is a big move by Derek Ling. Yeah, Conor Cleary is actually going out on him. He, he had been on Billy Ryan, but... Billy Ryan's gone inside Conor Cleary's stand there, and he has the physical yeah. size. Uh, yeah, saw so it's pretty much it. We saw watch the last time, I believe. So TJ Reid has kind of tugged that one. Three wides. So Conor Cleary and Walter Walsh in the air. There's no disadvantage for Clare, no advantage for Kilkenny. You would think there's Peter Duggan, what a catch. Advantage been played, Duggan gets on with it, Hugh Lawler catches it, we go back out for the free. Ball's in the back of the net, you clearly heard the whistle sound, and Tony Kelly and Peter Duggan are incensed. But we heard the whistle, and the defenders had stopped. Yeah, he gave the advantage, but... You know, he didn't let it develop. Um, this is going to be huge again now in the, in the game. If you watch this here, brilliant catch by, by Peter Duggan. He was tugged back there by David Blanford, clearly a free. He fed the ball in, and the referee blew the whistle, and just as the ball was in the air. So he had blown the whistle, he had yeah. given it a small, small advantage, but didn't let it develop. Yeah, well, he saw Lawler catching the ball and thought there was going to be no problem, but there was a subsequent problem from a Kilkenny perspective. Mark Rogers. So since the second half started, Clare have outscored Kilkenny by five points to two, and they're two down. Yeah, they're all over them. Um, they refer to the referee, how long do you give? But he, as you say, Hugh Lawler had the ball, but he dropped it, and Mark Rogers picked it up, stuck it in the net. So another talking point. We've had some brilliant saves, we've had that with no goal yet. Adrian Mullen put the hand up after it. Shane O'Donnell got in around him. Walter Walsh. John Donnelly spins around. Great take by Adam Hogan. Cahill Malone for Clare, surrounded. The Kilkenny work rate relentless. TK for Clare. Just shortens the stick. David Reedy. And Reedy is crunched, fouled, free in. It wasn't TJ Reed who fouled him, but you can see where TJ Reed was, how deep he was. We have a great play again. There's, that's a yellow card, I check coming up here for Richie Reid. It's high, and um, both David Reedy and Ian Galvin have added a lot to, to Clare in the second half, yeah. but they're a completely different team. They're playing outstanding hurdle, they're playing to their strengths, playing the ball in front of the forwards, and they're, they're causing havoc in there. No card for Richie Reid. This is to bring them within a point. Is exactly what 
Mark Rogers has done. So now the next goal is even more interesting. Yeah, you've David Fitzgerald, uh, Peter Duggan, and Shane O'Donnell across the half hour. I know the three of them have been very influential since half time. David Fitzgerald for Clare just launches it. Owen Murphy eyes on it all the time, and it goes harmlessly wide. I just thought we're going to have to watch from Clare now in the last quarter, their decision making. This has let them down um, in the Munster final, has let them down last year here as well. Dropping balls into the goalie, dropping balls wide. That should be kept in play and played inside in front of the full forward line, who are very dangerous at the moment. Adrian Mullen just let that run by. Here's TJ. Adam Hogan is there with him. Hogan, persistence paid off. They get the ball back. Rory Hayes, Peter Duggan takes the hit, advantage been played, look at Rory Hayes, continues the run forward, Hayes is quick, he can really move, Clare's forward line drawn out the field, ball turned over, Hayes was isolated, the forwards ran towards him, nobody stayed in close to goal. It was great work there by Billy Ryan, he got back, he travelled a long way to get back to him. Tommy Walsh with the long clearance, David McInerney soaring through the sky, on his way, McInerney, I'm sure thought about the shot, here's Ian Galvin, he's on it today, but so is David Blanchfield, and Blanchfield decides to go with the hand, Walter Walsh, John Donnelly, Walter Walsh, John Conlon, holding him up, almost lifting him up in the air, Paddy Deegan, the intensity levels have gone up. Free to Kilkenny. And Clare going absolutely mad here on the sideline, but this is this is what you want. Now, this is championship hurling, the tackling, the hook and the block, and Clare have lifted to another level here in the second half. Paddy Deegan is surrounded there. You know, a lot of time you don't see them given the players are in around them, but there's nobody. Look at David back in early with that catch and driving up the field. In the second half, Clare have got six points to Kilkenny's two. And we're well on top of this, still haven't got ahead of them. Yeah. Kilkenny just stuck in there. As they do. A lifetime of doing that. Owen Murphy from Glenmore with the free. He's hit it well, it's going to drop short. Oof! That wasn't too far away. I think it was Billy Ryan, he got a flick on it in there. And you'd have to stay since half time, you know. Owen Cody been very well marked. Look at this, just got that flick out by the post. You'd imagine he would have directed it online, but just wide. Ava Quilligan for Shane O'Donnell. How does he do that? He's done it again. Deegan is behind it. He's isolated once more and just pucks it straight into the left hand of Owen Murphy. Yeah, but Owen Murphy's looking out here. He's no option really to go along. There's nobody looking for the ball. Connor Cleary with TJ Reid beside him. David McInerney picks up the loose ball, and McInerney is another powerhouse in that middle eight for Kilkenny. Clare very athletic. You've just, I think Kilkenny are looking for somebody up front now to show a bit of leadership. All of them have been quiet since half time, and they just need somebody now to grab hold of it to Clare well on top of the minute. Tony Kelly in such a deep position. Ian Galvin. And Mark Rogers indeed played that to himself. Rogers. Outstanding. He's really come alive. Remember, he missed his first three. It must have shaken his confidence. But the teams are level now. That's for the fifth time. And Connor Cleary starting to settle in. Clare took tip. Kilkenny took a quick puck out there up the field, but Connor Cleary won that ball easily ahead of TJ Reid. Such a different second half. It's such a different Clare performance. They've ditched the sweeper, they've binned it. And they're taking it to Kilkenny, and they've done that right from the first whistle of the second half. And this is the result of what their approach has brought about. John Conlon collided with Adrian Mullen. Ball loose, John Donnelly for Kilkenny. Last year's semi-final really hurt Clare. They didn't play at all. Dermot Ryan, David Fitzgerald to put them in front. David Reedy has to score. Advantage been played, and Clare hit the front in Croke Park in the All-Ireland semi-final in the 52nd minute. And that is an absolutely brilliant score. That's everything that's good about Clare. Their pace, their athleticism. Really took a shot there coming across, but that's that's the ball they want. In front of that full forward line. They're lightning fast inside of great balance. 
but the brilliantly to win back that ball again. There was a great turnover from Adrian Mullen, but Clare won it back again, and they're all over, all over Kilkenny in every aspect of play now, all over the field. Clare have got the last four points unanswered. Eight in the second half to Kilkenny's two. Kilkenny going to make a change. Waltz is on already. Shane O'Donnell down on the ground again, and still manages to make that work for his team. Incredible from O'Donnell. Tony Kelly overhit it, but Ian Galvin. That's brilliant. How did he manage to put himself in position to get the ball off Richie Reid? It's a free in. That looked like it was going to be a Kilkenny ball all day long. Galvin got in position. Look, okay, don't be questioning every decision again. To me, that looked like a soft free. The two of them really battled hard. Richie Reid did half fall in over him. I think that was an attempt to go for the ball. It got back up one possession, and it's been brought inside now for back chat. But the energy of Clare at the minute, it's, you can feel it through the crowd, through yeah. every player on the field, and uh, it's just been a phenomenal turnaround the second half. 1997, the one and only time they've beaten Kilkenny in the championship. There were defeats in 09 and then in 06. Brian Lowen played in all three, and actually the 06 game was his last championship appearance for Clare. Mark Rogers has been outstanding in the second half, and that leads is growing. Change, Connor Fogarty off. This is Kean Kenny, who got the goal, or one of the goals against Clare last year. Sherrod Allen has gone back in full forward now. I said Clare looking for this goal. There's a few half chances of creating a bit more room. So I'm saying Hugh Lawler now matching up on the edge of the square. And Kenny going short. Advantage been played. This is Paddy Deegan for Kilkenny. They need a score now just to steady it down. They've got just three points in the second half. That's their first in 12 minutes. Yeah, and King Kenny can bring this to the team. He's full of energy. He's very, very fast and breaks the tackle very well. He laid that off to Paddy Deegan. Great score. Ava Quilligan full of confidence, and sure why not, but they've been turned over. That was careless from Clare. TJ Reid, they're in trouble here. Goal chance, buried! What a response from Kilkenny and Owen Cody, their captain. 118 to 19 points. Clare right there, architects of their own downfall. Well, it wasn't time to get clever. Rory Hayes caught there by Billy Ryan. TJ picks it up, all his experience. Look at him, he held it, he held it, he held it. A perfect hand pass. There was two men closing in, it had to be perfect. John Conlon couldn't get to him, Adam Hogue couldn't get to him. Oh, what a finish, and that wasn't the time to be getting clever inside your own 21 when you're well on top in an alert semi-final. And another Kilkenny change. Killian Buckley is on. Ball back in play. They've retaken the lead, the Cats. Peter Duggan with the catch, Tony Kelly. He's been in such a deep position for a lot of the second half. Butler's there with him again. They'll be sick of the sight of each Tron. other. Well, is that no, Tron? No, no, Tony no. Kelly in around the back. Yeah, yeah it was. That was, that was your linesman. first instinct. My first instinct, he threw it the linesman. I, don't, I didn't mean to say it out loud. <laughs> there, you I know you have a microphone in your hand. Yeah, your commentary, but it, it, it has become a huge part of the game, a negative part of the game. But here's the, here's the goal again. But look at TJ, the legs might move as fast as one, but look at the, the precision of that hand pass. If that was an inch lower and higher, the goal chance was gone. And the other thing, though, when he, the minute he got the ball, he looked left. Oh, yeah. Where's Cody? Where's Cody? Yeah. And it's goal, goal, goal. But the throwing ball there, good work there between, uh, I think it's Paul Dwyer there on the line, uh, to uh, give the, the heads up to the ref. Owen Murphy with the long free towards the goal scorer, Owen Cody from 45 and a half metres away, and really, well, OK, we're going to have a look. We'll use Hawkeye. We expected him to score. Oh, he looks disappointed, it's wide, yeah. you, know, you know, by him. Um, he did everything right, he nearly sidestepped himself, actually. He did two sidesteps, and... This is wide. Oh. Or is it? No, well, it's hit that line, so it is wide. Yeah, that's that. He knew Virtual all, line, yeah, exactly. So once it makes hurt. any contact with that, they call it as wide. 
He looks pretty calm, Derek Ling. I think it's like the swan in the water, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. yeah he's seen it all exactly. well, many times, but he's yeah. that sort of personality. Oh, wow. Peter Duggan. He's done that an awful lot. John Conlon for Clare. Just floating that in. Paddy Deegan in the right place. Just reads the thing so well. Adrian Mullen. One of last year's all-star midfielders, Keen Kenny. Killian Buckley, he'll bring massive energy to it. Remember his goal against Galway. Good defending, really good defending. Tony Kelly from a ridiculous distance out. Hopeful one, he'll be disappointed. He will, he'll be dis that was great play by Adam Hogan again. He's having a great game for a young man. Uh, the wrong decision in my view again there from Tony. Should have played it in, Ian Galvin was on the move. Yeah, you did mention about decision making. Walter Walsh got the stick to that. David McInerney is there for Clare. Connor Cleary has lasted the pace well. Fitness must have been a worry or lack of match sharpness anyway. Dermot Ryan. Oh, lovely scale. David Fitzgerald. Open road in front. Fitzgerald will take the point. And that exactly, that is exactly what he's got. Yeah, that was much better by Dermot Ryan. You saw him playing that little low ball. This is simple hurling, intelligent hurling. Terry need to keep this up now to the final whistle if we're going to have a chance in this game. Just a point between them, that's the first score since the goal. Clare's first in about five minutes. Owen Cody leaping like a salmon. Another intense scrap for possession. Clare haven't been in the final in ten years. To Kenny hoping to get back there again for a second successive year. Rory Hayes felt that was his only option. Be the stoppage now is a Clare player down injured. That's Adam Hogan, he's yeah. tossing off the ball with Owen Cody. Well, we think there was something off the ball here. You've referred to it, Michael. Yeah, he hit the ground heavy here, and you can just see yeah. a bit of a tangle there. You know, forget the ball, just watch the two of them, yeah. yeah. Look, it's been uh, it's inconclusive the there. end of that, yeah. yeah. It's hard to see from there. I, I'd imagine it was in the initial tussle that uh, okay. Adam might have got a bit of a slap. Um, but. but he's a great bit of stuff, young uh, Adam Hogan from Fecal. Yeah, one of the players who lost out this year because of the rule that the 20s couldn't yeah. play senior. He missed the Monster final against Cork. Richie Hogan. So the bench of 2 4 on the last day. This bench impact we're so familiar hearing that phrase so they brought so many of the big guns on there's still a couple more left on there Podrick Walsh is there here's TJ Reid with the sideline cut oh wow brilliant but for all his skill we don't see that too often from no. TJ that is unbelievable um, they really needed he seems to be completely fired up today as he always is but he's given a brilliant display again so two points between them 19 to 20. Adrian Mullen, Paddy Deegan is seeing a lot of all. Walter Walsh. They've done it all. They've won it all. But the tension will only rise in the next, well, probably 15 minutes or so. Everybody needs a bit of a breather. I think again, you can get to breathe there. The atmosphere has just dipped again. Just pure tension. TJ Reid. Oh, oh, Connor Cleary right on top of him. Yeah, and that's been the big thing in the second half. I think apart from Cleary's movement and energy, I think their hook and block and their work yeah. rate has really lifted. But Connor Cleary, to be fair to this man, to be out for seven weeks yeah. with a very serious injury, come back and he's having an outstanding yeah, second half. Paddy Deegan just chips it up to TJ Reid. Cleary has to go with him again. The players free. This is Keen Kenny for Kilkenny. Has brought loads of energy to the middle of the field. We know he can score goals. They now lead by three. Yeah, with that pass from TJ Reid again, class. And Kenny's movement into space to give him the option, brilliant. Peter Duggan. Oh, absolutely outrageous. Brilliant. Cahill Malone chases it down, can't get there. 
all very tight. David Reedy trying to take it off. Tommy Walsh. There's so much made in the build-up to the game about Clare's motivation after what happened in the semi-final. I think I read it was 53 weeks ago. Their flat performance. Tony Kelly did come into the match with an ankle injury, remember? But they were mentally and physically drained after their exploits in the Munster final last year. This year, they got back on the horse with the victory over Dublin and looked really sharp. Clare loads of motivation, but Kenny loads too. Shane O'Donnell, chance for a goal! Shane O'Donnell! Wow! The teams are level. That fella is magic, particularly down with that Hill 16 goal. Remember, 10 years ago. And they've been waiting all evening for that chance. Look at him shaking off his man and buried it into the roof of the net. That's an unbelievable goal. A great ball, I talked about decision-making. That was a great ball. Dermot Ryan had it out the field, could have went for it, didn't. Got it in. Look at the power of him. His balance is unbelievable and straight to the roof of the net. No chance for all Murphy, one of the great goalies that we've seen. The emotional roller coaster continues. Richie Hogan has lost the stick. A bit of an audition for the Kilkenny football team there. Here's Walter Walsh. Walsh gets away from McInerney. Still going, he wants his free, and he's got it. He's got it, Clare are livid. But the referee has given the free in, and Kilkenny will retake the lead. Yeah, Richie Hogan did very well there without the hurt, but Walter Walsh showed his power, his pace. For sure, is not happy about it, but um, we'll, we'll get another look at it here now. Watch him go in, see the left hand coming in, and yeah. pulling the jersey. Oh, I don't know how you can argue with that. No. That's a free, uh, that's it. Yellow card, maybe harsh, but I suppose yeah. he was he was in a dangerous position and uh, the ref felt it was cynical. That's what the card is. For the lead, just over five minutes. Yeah, up to 70 to go. Sorry, there. Peter Duggan has been the key man, really, in many yeah. ways. Which are, they're aim, able to aim that puck out down. See, David Blanchfield now gone on him belatedly yeah. because he's won, he's won four or five puck outs at least in the second half. But while you're watching Quilligan pucking it out, Duggan is calling for the ball. It's like, put it down on top of me, I'll win it. Killian Buckley. Who said extra time? That's a brilliant tackle there with David yeah. Reedy, Killian Buckley. Just miscontrolled the ball for a second, and he's in on top of it. It's been that sort of second half, that sort of game. Brilliant work rate from both sets of players, and an outstanding second half. Okay. Peter Duggan fancy this. Yeah. No, it's going to go for the short is he? He is. He took a lot of time over that. David Reedy, there was a slip by Blanchfield. That's well recovered. Kane Kenny popping up all over the place. TJ Reid has covered so much ground. Now it's just 2v2 back there. Richie Hogan, the smallest man in that club of four, got the stick to it. Hogan hasn't scored in the championship this year. John Conlon there with it. Richie using all his skill and he's knocked to the ground, is he? No. Well, the referee's blown the whistle. Hogan is flat on his back and I think they are going to win a free in. There's a card for Dermot Ryan. Well, Richie Hogan hasn't the pace of the past. He knew he was going to be hooked. Brilliant, brilliant by John Collins to hold him out there. But he kept his composure. Oh. That's a shoulder in the head. Lucky just to get a yellow there. Look at this. And uh, that's a very, very high tackle. Um, but Richie Hogan just showing all his experience there to draw that free. He's back up on his feet. And you mentioned TJ Reid, he was back to, it's, it's his ability to win that ball first time. That was a hard ball up the wing to him, he won it first time, gave the little dummy hand pass and played the long ball in, saw the two-on-two -two inside. This is big. Nothing straightforward in the last three and a half minutes of an All-Ireland semi-final. No matter what you want, no matter what you've done, it still matters hugely, and TJ Reid has come up with the goods again. They lead by two. That's that discipline, you know, that's that's a lot of frees for TJ Reid today. Yeah. Dermot Ryan really should have held him up there. Quilligan down on top of Peter Duggan. 
Podrick Walsh is going to come in for Kilkenny. Walter Walsh didn't catch that at all. Straight to Rory Hayes, free. Richie Hogan not happy there, back to Walter Walsh. He had very little option inside, with very little movement, but it was a poor ball. It's been a big response by Kilkenny. Clare's last score was the Shane O'Donnell goal, and you thought, right, they're going to kick on from here. But Kilkenny have come up with two frees. So, Billy Ryan off, Podrick Walsh on. Mark Rogers come back a long, long way to take this one. The wind is helping him. The confidence must be high. That's not going to do the job, though. So, look, the wides tell you nowhere near last year. Been superb in the second half. Four wides they've hit. Nine in total. Paddy Deegan for Owen Cody. Adam Hogan is there with the what movement. Look at the space he's after making to get away from a really superb defender. That's incredible from Owen Cody. 26-23, 123 to 120. But the score was made by the quality of the pass as well from Paddy Deegan. He put it on the outside of him. Cody shepherded him there. He couldn't do anything. He was caught one on one. Unbelievable score, 1-4 from playing out for Cody. Now, a foul on David Fitzgerald in the middle of the field by Padraig Walsh, who's only on the pitch a few seconds. Clare physios are coming on to the pitch. It's her last minute of the 70. And a three-point game, it's been Kilkenny who've pushed on after the O'Donnell goal. They're rash there by Padraig Walsh, yeah. yeah. Great pick-up though again by David Fitzgerald. I think some of the handling skills today have been absolutely yeah. brilliant, uh, particularly on the Clare team. Some of the pick-ups to Shane O'Donnell again there from Fitzgerald. So this should be a more comfortable distance for Mark Rogers. He's taking a shot off yeah. the ground. Dermot Ryan. David Reedy is out in front. Reedy has O'Donnell to his left, had a look at the post. A big pressure put on him. Peter Duggan there. Duggan shoots. It took a deflection. Oh. Owen Murphy couldn't take the risk. He wasn't quite sure of the angles there. But he's pushed it out for a 65. Miss hit ball there. Duggan turned around and blasted. It was uh, Hugh uh, Lawler, I think, with a, with a great block. Hugh Lawler, Paddy Deegan. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant block. Uh, but Duggan's first instance to go, go for the goal. And here's Shannon coming in very late. There's only three minutes injury time. I'm yeah. astounded by that. We had a couple yeah. of longish stoppages there in the second half and all the substitutions, I would have thought we would have had near to six minutes. So David Reedy gone off, Aaron Shanaher is in. So what does Rogers do here? With two and a half to go, do you drop it in? Do you take the point from the 65? That's exactly what he's done, so there's two in it. Yeah, that's the third, third 65, and that's the right call, but this injury time to me is going to be a big, big issue um, after the game, because it definitely was way more than three minutes. So Owen Murphy taking as much time as he can to find David Blanchfield. They've got to be perfect back there, the Kilkenny defenders. Hugh Lawler scored a great point in the first half. Tommy Walsh. Adrian Mullen, all oh, brilliant. Outrageous bit of skill. They're in again. They could seal it now. They'll take a free if they can get it. Owen Cody again. Owen Cody gets his point. Three between them once more. And Adrian Mullen there, this is unbelievable. He lost control of the ball and flicked it backhanded over the top. What a piece of skill. Mikey Butler on the move again. Was some foul, good defender, but look at the composure of Cody. Just to turn, find the space to stick it over. Incredible player. The ball has been put out of play on the far side. It's a, a clear line ball. 90 seconds to go. Less. You, know, you think they're going to need a goal now? We can't see them scoring three points in the last um, minute and a half. So make good contact with this Mark Rogers who just floated in and hope a bit shorter than he would have liked. Bit of messing in the Kilkenny defence back there. Referee looking on anxiously with a, a battle on the ground for possession. How did Fitzgerald come out with the ball? Oh! That was Peter Duggan, he just pulled on that. 
Dermot Ryan. Ryan tucks it over for the point. Did that hit the crossbar? It hit the, I think. Oh, was well, it a save? I think he saved it off the crossbar. That was my first instinct. What a piece of skill by Peter Duggan. Here we have it again. Duggan Look let fly. This. Here's Murphy. He oh, saves what it. What a save. He saved it off the crossbar. What, what a, a save. save. We've had a couple of unbelievable saves in this game. But this is unbelievable for Murphy. OK, so you can give him the all-star now. That was incredible. Brilliant save from Quilligan. Here's Adrian Mullen in the first half, remember. But the two goalkeepers, they are at the peak of their games. This is Padraig Walsh from way out the field. There's that bench impact for Derek Ling. That is... Adrian Mullen has had a massive second half for a man that's been out injured as well. What a score. So Clare back needing a goal to force extra time. TJ Reid is back there playing like a centre-back. He's been all over the pitch. Incredible energy. The three minutes are done. The three minutes are done and the referee has blown the whistle. It's not the full-time whistle, though. It's the last play. Last play of the game. Clare have got to get the ball. So have Kilkenny. But they want it for different reasons. Kilkenny just want to clear it. Yellow card in there. I think maybe it's for Peter Duggan at this stage. We're not really bothered. Yeah, he's been giving a bit of advice all the second half. So the ball back in motion. There's TJ Reid. Just fell on the ball. Tony Kelly there. They've got it, you know. It's a free in. Ian Galvin, the player who was fouled. Yellow card for Owen Cody there. The ref is allowed and he's found a minute from somewhere. There was no stoppage since the stoppage time, even though I'm happy that there, there should have been more than three minutes in the first place. So Mark Rogers, well, he just has a, a look over at Brian Lohan. Just floated in. And hope for the best. Rogers whipped that in. Thought he was going to put some air on it. Walter Walsh is back there. There's the whistle. It's over. It is over. And the Leinster champions are into the All-Ireland final again. Clare really came at them with everything in the second half. When O'Donnell got his goal, you thought, right, they're going to push on from here. But from somewhere, Kilkenny found the resilience.